This video is by Straight Goods News. SG News. And please the head. This, this is absolutely fabulous. I'm happily being here at a meeting trying to defend our members, trying to defend our jobs, trying to defend the industries that we represent. And I get an opportunity through this rally by PIP to thank public servants for your incredible job for Canadians. of 200,000 members and along with another 100,000 CEP members as we form this new Canadian Union in this great country. One of our responsibilities are going to be to talk to the Canadian population about the importance of public service to the Canadian population. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, when you're talking about food safety, that's about Canadians' livelihood. When you talk about pension regulation, it talks about security. When you talk about the work that the scientists do in the area of environment and clean water, that's about Canadians and about the kind of country we want for ourselves, our families, and the next generations. So brothers and sisters, on behalf of the Canadian Auto Workers Union, one thing I do know that we are all workers, we are all under attack. Governments of all stripes, municipal, provincial, federal level, are attacking our public services as if we're the blame to the global financial crisis. Brothers and sisters, you're the ones that make a contribution to the human good of this great nation that we call Canada, and we have an obligation not just to fight for ourselves as trade unionists, but to fight for a nation that builds on that caring, compassion, and obviously the security of a job and a pension. So the CNW is with you on your struggles, and to all Canadians, let's join the 